designing a website is a very creative work but implementing it by code can be difficult if you don't have that skill but one of the most efficient way to improve your skill is by practice and in this video we will build this amazing website with the help of the bootstrap where we have lots of things like bootstrap carousel some cool photos some cool layouts of bootstrap and bootstrap cards some testimonies also here some contact form and also lastly the footer so we will build this whole website with the help of the bootstrap from the scratch so please watch the full video and let's start so i opened the vs code in my system and also created one file called index.html and also previously i downloaded some pictures or images for our website okay so these are the images that we will use in our website so let's quickly start the coding so i am using the emit extension in the vs code so everything is done by the emit extension i'm just editing the title of our website and let's write it as bootstrap tutorial okay so the first thing is that we need to add the bootstrap in our website so for that we need to get the bootstrap cdn links and from here on the download section of the bootstrap you can get this link so let's quickly add this thing okay so i have added it but the second tag is a script tag and script tag always plays at the end of the body tag so i'm just moving it so in our website our bootstrap cdn links is editing is completed so let's see what the next step is so in this website you can see in the top we have one navbar so we need to add the navbar in our website so where we can get this navbar so here you can see the component section we have the navbar so let's click on it and here you can see the navbar is here so we have different types of navbar available here but i am taking this thing so I just copy this thing and go in our code and by the way the header section or the heading of our website always plays inside one html tag called header so i am just writing header and inside the header i am just adding the navbar okay so i have added the navbar just save this thing and by the way the ptr extension is extending or formatting each of the code so let's don't worry about that so let's see the output now so let's refresh this page and you can see the navbar is already here but we don't need this type of navbar we need this type of navbar and in this navbar section you can see if you scroll down a bit you can see we have one dark navbar styling and for that we need to add this thing in our website navbar so let's copy this thing and go in the top of our navbar you can see instead of navbar light and bg light we need to write navbar dark and bg dark and this will do the rest of the things that needed for the black navbar just like this and we just don't need the drop down or the search button so let's quickly remove it so you can see this is the navbar's drop down button so let's delete this thing also delete the li okay so this thing is done so let's delete the disable button also and let's delete this form we don't need the search bar also okay so let's save this thing and see the output now okay so our website is currently looking like a bit here but we need to change this thing or the links i'm just quickly replicating this thing Okay, so just replicate it sometimes and save this thing. Okay, so our navbar is currently looking like similar to this. We will change each and everything or nav links takes later. So just leave it here. So the next thing is that we need to add this thing, the carousel. So the carousel will be found from here. So this is the place. So we have different types of carousel here also, but I will do or I will copy this thing with a caption so you can see with the caption so let's copy this thing and also edit it inside the header so I'm just pasting it okay so just save this thing and see the output now okay you can see this is the edited but the images is not here so we need to add these images because we have just the dot 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 here okay so for that I just need to add these images here just quickly add browser image 2 and for the third slide I'm just added in the third images which is here okay so if I save this thing and see the output now you can see the thing is that the images are quite a big size so in the bootstrap we don't need to write long CSS but at least we need to write some CSS for that so for that I am just adding some CSS text link also I need to create something like style.css okay so inside head 
Oh, you need to write some CSS here. So let's quickly write what the CSS we required. And the main motive is to reduce the images sizes. So you can see in the carousel we have the images here. So let's add some random or the customized classes. This like carousel image. For that, sorry, spinning is wrong. Okay, so let's copy this thing for the rest of the images. So let's copy here and the last thing is that just copy here. Okay. So we have copied this thing and we need some styling here. So let's copy here also. And we need to write like with 100%. And we need one more style which is the max height. Max height, let's suppose it is 650 pixels. Okay. So this is the only CSS that we required. So let's save this thing and see the output now. You can see this is looking quite a bit nice. The carousel is working fine. So the top portion or this portion is completed for our website so let's build the second portion or the why choose us section okay so for doing this thing we need to write the grid system of our bootstrap so let's write the grid system so i am doing this after the header section because we don't need to write the header section header section is only for this section okay so why choose us we need to write the container inside the container we all know that we need to place the row and inside the row we need to write the columns let's quickly write the call 12 so i'm just writing the call 12 and let's see what we need to write in the first so in the first we need to write this thing why choose us and this is need to be done in the h1 tag okay so i'm just changing the diff to h1 tag and also i'm writing the why choose us so it's why choose us okay so if i save this thing let's see how it will be looking okay so why choose us is here but we need one underline so for that in the utility section we have one called text tab okay so from the text we have seen this thing the class name for the underline so we have also another all of the class names here but i'm using that for the underline so let's quickly copy this thing add it here and by the way for text center we have one css also and this is called the for the align I, align the text center we have one css called text center let's copy this thing from here also quickly add it in the container so each of the text inside our container will be centered okay so let's quickly see the output now you can see this is working fine but i just need some margin so for that i'm just using the margin top five so let's see now okay so this is quite a bit fine that we have here a margin top five let's do it in margin y okay so it will be margin in the top and the bottom section both so it is called margin y okay so the first thing is done which is a margin section and the next thing we need to do is to build this grid system and you can see the grid system all of the columns actually taking the three column width so three 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 in four is total 12 so let's quickly make the grid system here so let's write call 12 for the smaller screen width and call md3 for the medium screen width and the larger screen width okay so inside here we need to write something like that so for that we need one image so let's quickly add one image so and for the src i'm just typing as the choose and for the product is the first thing okay so in the alt tag i need to write something and we will do this in the later part but let's concentrate on the class okay so for the class we have some classes like rounded circle okay so if you write something called rounded circle just see the output the image will be rounded just like this but we need to reduce the screen size or the width of this image so for that let's write one style called width suppose it will be 40 percent okay so and also save this thing see now okay the size is okay fine but i need one shadow like this so let's quickly add the shadow so for the shadow here also we have some section like here you can see the shadow and we have different types of shadow but i'm using the regular one which is the only shadow okay so just quickly see and paste this thing here save this thing and go for the output refresh this page and you can see there is slightly shadow over here okay so the shadow is edited successfully so then we need to write this heading so let's build this heading 
okay so after the image let's write h3 tag and just write best products that we have and we also need some class names here like margin top 3 because we need some margin after the image here okay so this is looking fine also i need one paragraph tag here for some description also so let's write the lorem suppose 10 and by the way the lorem is the extension of the image which will generate some random text so if i write lorem 10 it will generate 10 random words okay so let's save this thing again you can see this is looking quite a bit cool let's quickly replicate this thing for three times okay so one two three okay so the first thing is done we already seen that but we need to secondly change this thing so let's see what image we have so the second thing is the repair so let's quickly see that let's copy this thing quick repair okay so let's change this thing quick repair and this is fine and the next thing is that 24 to 7 support also just change this thing here paste it change the image and this will be support and the last thing that will be is the 100% trusted copy this thing also go for here change it 100% trusted change the image also let's see what image we have the trust okay so if i save this thing and see the output now you can see our website is looking just like that we have here okay but we also need some margin or padding here so let's do the padding or the margin here so i am using the padding okay so for that inside that that we have directly written inside this column we just need to write one div containing a class as padding 3 okay so i just need to do this thing at the end so let's quickly attach here at the end and i need to do this thing for all of these cases so padding 3 and the div need to be at the end okay this thing is done padding 3 i should do this beforehand okay so let's padding 3 okay just move it here also okay so this thing is done let's see the output now okay so you can see the website is looking little bit better just like this but we actually need some more styling so for that i am just using some margin for this heading section also okay so for that i'm just using some margin also so where the heading section is okay so this is the heading section and i am just using some margin y5 so it will be margin from the up and down both okay so this is looking fine and this is similar to this okay so our this section why choose us is completely done so let's quickly wrap up with a hr okay by the way if you write the hr it will produce one horizontal line just like this and i am just need to do some styling for the hr and that can be a margin of five percent and zero percent so let's quickly see the output so this is the output you can see the, in the hr you can see the margin is in top and the bottom five percent so this is completely done so this why chooser section is completely done we need to do this services we provide section so let's copy this thing and our this row is already completed so this is actually the first row that we have built okay so i need to write one different row for that so i just written one row and inside here we need to write the similar kind of a heading tag that we have so i'm just copying this thing okay so just copy this thing and here just paste it and just change the thing so let's quickly change copy this thing again paste it save this thing and now see the output that we have okay so services we provide is fine okay okay but to move it here so after before the row okay so this is looking fine actually fine so the next thing is that we need to build this type of customized layout and how we can do the customized layout is by the row so uh, for that i need to write one different row and for that i need something like call 12 and call md suppose it is call md8 so let's take it's a call md8 and inside that we need to write something like this 
so for that i need to write one heading in the section or heading in the first section so just write h2 here and just write our services okay so our services is done and the second thing is that here we have one muted tag so i just also also needed this thing so i'm just copying here and after the h2 oh sorry after the services so let's add one span tag and paste this thing that we have here and i just needed some style okay so for it style should be text muted because it has some muted color or the grayish color and this is also available here so if you write here or search here the text and this is the text you can see here you can get this type of things okay so here okay it's not here let's see it in the colors okay so you in the colors we have this thing so you can see there is a different types of thing and text muted is the one of the colors that the grayish looking style okay so i'm also written this thing and it is also working fine okay, so this thing is completely done and i just need to write the paragraph tag that we have at the end okay so let's type a paragraph tag and let's try lorem 15 so i think this will be enough for this portion okay i just need to write some more lines of text here so let's quickly control z and instead of loading oops the font size is increasing instead of loading 15 let's write volume 20 okay save this thing and i think this is looking good you can also write anything any number of times so loading let's try it at loading 30 now see the code okay so i i'm taking this thing and in the right side we need to write this thing or this image so for adding this image i need one image tag and for the image tag i need something like columns okay so in the previous we have the call to column d9 uh, sorry column d8 and now i need to do the call 12 and call md4 okay so inside i need to write the image and also the images we will is from the services and service one all tag will be done later and the image is working fine just add some classes as the width 100 percent okay so let's save this thing see the output and you can see the image is here but i need some styling like we need some shadow and some rounded corner so we have some classes here that we have already seen that shadow this right shadow and also the rounded save this thing see now okay so this is looking exactly like this okay so this section is completed i just need to replicate this thing and before replicating i just wanted to do some marching here also like margin 5 and just replicate it now so i'm just replicating it so i am just replicating it now so let's replicate it two three times so i think three times is enough for our case okay so the first thing is that or the first services is here the image is also here i need to change this services to image so this is services 2 and i need to change the services 3 image and then the services 4 image okay so i just needed two four services and also i need to change the text also where our services 1 our services 2 will be here our services 3 will be here and the last thing is that our services 4 so let's quickly save this thing and see the output now you can see this is looking quite a bit same that we have but one thing is that the order is not same the first thing is same like just like this we have the image in the right side but the second thing is that the image is not in the left side in here the image is in the left side okay so for doing this type of things we have some classes also in the bootstrap and that is called order so let's quickly strike some orders okay so let's see where the services 2 is here so here is the services 2 so not just we need to do we just need to write one order so order md2 so what it will done that it will change the order to 2 and if you write the same thing with the order 1 for the images save this thing and see the output now you can see the order is completely changed this thing is now in the 1 position and this is now in the 2 position okay this is how simple it is i just need to do the same thing here also in the fourth services so let's quickly do this thing paste it here and also here and the reason why i am doing the order md1 is because if i suppose reduce the screen size so let's reduce the screen size 
okay so you can do the mobile version from here so let's see if you do the screen size the image will be always came under the text okay so, but if you don't do the order md one then just quickly demonstrate it one time that it is for the services for if you don't write the order md and just write order two then see for the fourth section you can see the image is coming beforehand the text so i just don't need wanted to do this type of thing so i've just written order md okay so i have you understand that why i'm writing the order okay so i think this section is also completed just in a few minutes so i think it is fine okay so the next thing is that we need to write the products so let's quickly do this thing the products and i just need one hr that we have previously we need one heading section so let's copy this thing also copy this thing quickly add it under the hr added it and just need to change it to our products products save this and i hope this thing is coming here okay so our products is already here I'm just removing or closing the inspect okay so our product is also here so i just need to define the cards so for the cards we have also some classes for the bootstrap and here you can see in the components and you can see the cards okay i'm just copying this thing or this card okay you have different types of card you can take but i am using this card okay so just quickly write one new row and inside the row i'm just writing that call 12 and call md 3 because each of the cards are having the three column width here okay let's see this is all of these cards are taking three columns width so i'm just reading call md 3 so so let's quickly paste this thing or paste this card and also i need some padding here also so let's suppose padding 3 need some images and i have some images for here and this call the placeholder okay so suppose if you don't want it to any images or predefined images here so you can do this type of things as the placeholder so you can do this type of thing here also so if you don't want it or if you don't have any images at your right now so you can write this thing also so let's see so suppose you are writing or if you're writing some code and you just wanted to see there's can be a picture so you can do this type of things with the help of the placeholder and it can be looking so much beautiful okay so as i already have the images so i'm just adding the images and just if you don't have any images right here now so you can download these two images from my link in the description of this video and you can do this type of things here okay so let's change this thing that we have previously okay so this thing is done so our card is already done i just need to replicate this card okay so this is how you can see that how easily we can do these type of things so just change the title as the product title from the card title product title and this can be considered as the short description of our product and just writing our purchase okay so save this thing see one time more okay this is looking fine i just need to replicate it so here you can see oops i just need to copy this thing so one two three four five six seven eight i think eight time is enough okay this is looking good i have one extra also so let's control z okay so our product section is already done i think it is looking the similar type of things that we have here and i just need one button here also okay so for the button just quickly write this thing also just like call 12 call 12 and inside the call 12 i just need some margin here also and i just need some button so button okay just quickly copy this one button from the poster without writing any type of code because i'm very lazy at like this type of things okay i just need the dark button so let's quickly add this thing okay just let's not do this type of things you can also i'm just taking this thing just paste this thing save this oops it is will be not dark it will be see more okay now see the output Okay, it is looking way more cooler than that we have okay so our this section our product section is already done let's quickly do the testimonial section so for the testimonial section just copy this red uh, the row that we are using for the heading section here also so i'm just copy this thing here also and scrolling down at the end 
okay so i just also need one each here for horizontal line and i'm just pasting here and here i am just writing the testimonial that we have just copy this thing here also just copy this thing came here paste it save okay so testimonial is here i just need to do this type of layout okay so for that just quickly make a row and inside the row i just need to write something like call 12 and call md6 let's also write some margin also in the top that's like margin top not five let's see it's margin top four okay so this layout is done i need one image so for the image just write one image tag let's do this thing for profile profile one also do some classes here also this is a rounded circle that we have for rounded image so rounded circle is here just also write the shadow that we have save this thing now go for the output here oops the image is way larger we just need to reduce it and we also have one width class and that is the width 25 that we written previously that we have written previously with 100 so if you would see this thing here in the top we have written somewhere the width 100 so in here we are writing the width w25 it is meaning the width 25 so let's see the output now you can see the image is way cooler or way smaller than that okay so i just want one border here also so for doing the border i just need one different div actually so i'm just removing the whole image here okay so i need some border and also need some shadow also for here and i just need some padding here also let's save this thing okay so this formatting or layout is similar to that okay so this is looking way cooler but i just only need to do this type of quotation okay so in the bootstrap we also have the quotation we just don't need to write anything from ourselves so let's see or search where the quotation is so in here let's search where we have quotation so let's search here so we have quotation in typography okay so in the code here we have some quotation okay so here i get the quotation just copy this thing and paste it here so paste save okay this thing is done but i need one more deeper and larger so just change the paragraph to h2 so h2 is way larger let's do it with the h4 i guess h4 looking the cool okay so this is the exactly what i am looking for okay so this thing is done let's see here this thing is done i just wanted to do one thing that this the rounded thing that not present here also add some styling for the roundness so rounded actually i'm getting the rounded from here utilities and border Oh, you can see here is the radius border radius you can see rounded rounded top different types of border radius here and we have also in the image we using this thing the rounded circle for the circular okay so this section is rounded actually okay so this is done let's copy this thing again two times okay so for the next second time just write profile 2 and for third just write profile 3 save this thing see the output so this is the output and the one thing is that here the last thing is in the center so how can i do this type of things so in the bootstrap we also have this type of functionality so this is here in the layout and in the grid system or the grid oops it is not in the grid it is in the column so in the column you can see we have some alignments also here so we can do vertical alignments and similarly we can do the horizontal alignment also okay so for the horizontal alignment we have one class called justify content center this is the class that we need let's copy this thing and by the way this thing always plays in the row so i'm just adding this thing in the row okay so let's see now the output this thing is in the center so our testimonial is actually done and this is actually more beautiful than we have in the previous case okay so the next thing that we have is our contact us space so let's do this type of things for now also just copy this thing also one more time let's write the hr here also let's oops what we have done okay so here 
write the contact task okay the contact task is done save this thing okay. contact task is here and i just need to write this type of forms so for forms i have here forms and inside the form we actually have different types of form layout just like this but the one thing recently added is the with a floating level so this is the input field that i wanted to add in my website so for that just copy this thing just quickly write one new row actually don't need to write any row i'm just doing it in here also we'll do these type of things here let's write call 12 and inside let's write a form first and action is let's see what we can get just delete it for now paste it save this thing see the output now you can see the email address and password is password is here but i just don't need to add the password and just deleting the password okay so this thing is that i need one name so let's for the placeholder i'm just writing the full name and here i also need to write the full name so let's write full name okay type is also the text mm, everything is fine for the email this is fine after the email i need one phone number so type phone number and placeholder just say it is phone number change it here also the phone number phone number okay so let's save this thing for now see the output okay full name email and phone number is here what we need okay we need this your message section so let's come in okay i need this thing the text idea okay, let's add this thing also need some leave comment here i think this is fine and this is will be your well, let's leave it as comment also just like this see the output i think this is done i just need one button so for the button we have the button section so let's go in the button so here is the button go and copy one button so i'm just copying this button for now add this button here and type send save this thing okay the button is here just to write same message and one thing that i need is to write some classes here okay so for here i just need to write text start because i need the button in the font okay here this is fine i just need one class to be edited and this is will be margin y supposed to two will be fine i guess let's do it three okay this thing is looking good okay so the whole contact section is done i just need to do this type of footer so for the footer okay before the footer i need to do something and that is i need some margin here also margin bottom five our footer is done so let's write one each other actually we don't need to write the each other because we have reached to the end of our website oh i need to do this type of things here also okay Let's change it here and add it from here because we need this type of things here only. Okay, so this is fine. Just search for the footer that we have. Okay, so for the footer, let's search for the footer. Okay, so in the Bootstrap we don't have any footer in the component or any section for that, but we have some footer layout here. Oh, so if you do the here, the example, go in the example, and here you can find the footers. So these are the footers. So I am just adding this thing. In my website, so for that you need to just inspect and just hover over here. Save this thing, and you can see this is the footer. Right-click, edit HTML, and copy the whole thing. Control A, Control C, and after the container is done, edit it here. Save this thing, and here is your footer. I just need to change the color of the footer with the help of the BG dark, and for the text. Just right, BG uh, takes light. This is not working. Why? I just miss taking something. Just quickly go in the documentation section and for the text. 
takes light i just need to type it again okay so this thing is done i just only need to okay so sorry it is our previous website page oh. so this thing is done i just need to do i think everything is done so everything is done as per our plan wow this is looking beautiful for now so okay i just need to do the nav bars here so for the nav bar let's see what we have so let's see we have one tag or name here as the takex which can be called as the company or the demo company name so i'm here in the nav bar just take, change it to takex let's do it at takex 0.2.0 okay so we have 2.0 we have expertise here expertise you see what we have services products and contact okay so services services products products and the last thing is that the contact okay so contact contact okay so for working this link i need to add this type of uh, id for each of the row that we have okay so for that scroll down a bit so this is why why choose us is here so in the row i'm just adding this id as expertise okay so this thing is done and in the services that we have okay so this is the row for the services actually done with here so this is the heading so let's write here services okay services is done and next thing is that we have our products in the row let's also write products okay so this is our products all of the cards are here then testimonial do not required to add a link and this is the last thing that we need is the contact so contact is here save this thing go for here okay so all of this thing is fine so if you write expertise it is working services also working products and contacts okay so all of the things are working i just need to change this type of things here also but i will do it later so this thing i wanted to tell you that for better clarification of your code you need to write some comments i don't write any comments up to now but i am writing the comments for now let's see how we can write so let's like like this so header start and do some control and slash so this is the comment so if you write something like header start here and at the end of this header if you write the header end then it will be better for you to understand why the header is starting and ending so i'm just writing this thing for never at once so let's see how it will be easy for you to understand the comments okay so if you write after the number if you write this thing then never end okay so if you're writing this code and if you do this type of documentation or this type of comments so it will be easier for you to understand and if you send this code to any other people then it will be very easy for them to also understand that where the which thing is started and which thing is ended because you can see if you scroll down a bit we will get the confusion what is going on why i'm in the which section okay so it's always better to documentation your page with the help of this comments so i'm just pausing this video and commenting each of the components here so i have commented everything down and just see how easily you can understand which section is denoted to which section so let's see by just looking at this section you can see this is the expertise one this is expertise two and here is the expertise four is start here why choose any is end let's see it is better for you to understand your code and for better for others to read your code easily so i will highly recommend you to do this type of comments in your code and also i have changed these links here also in the footer from this section okay so just see how easily you can build this type of website with the help of the bootstrap in a few minutes so this is how the power of the bootstrap is works okay so i think this is a cool looking website so we have completed to creating this website or building this website from the scratch so just see how beautiful this website is looking like and how amazing and how easily we are building this website just using some of the bootstrap classes we are building the whole website so if you wanted to learn bootstrap from the scratch you can definitely check out my bootstrap 5 tutorial playlist and i will put the link in the description of this video and if you like this video and want more videos like this then please subscribe to my channel i will upload more videos like this in the future and also i will upload more videos on the bootstrap 5 tutorials also okay so i think this is all for this video i hope you like this video so see you in the next video bye bye